3,000 years ago along Peru's coastal deserts, a burial ground surfaced with hundreds of skulls stretched impossibly long, so bizarre that some claimed ancient aliens. Today, those mysteries finally meet an answer that's as unbelievable, as unbelievable as the legends themselves, artificial intelligence has cracked the enigma. But what the AI uncovered about Paracus, the elites, and humanity's oldest secrets will change what we think possible, unless there is something even stranger behind the truth. Across the southern coast of Peru, where dry winds sweep over the Paracas Peninsula and the Ica region, archaeologists have uncovered one of the most astonishing burial landscapes in the ancient world. Here, beneath layers of desert sand, lie hundreds of skulls, each shaped in ways that defy ordinary explanation. These remains date from 1000 to 500 BCE, a period that saw the rise of the Paracas culture and the flourishing of their elaborate funerary traditions. The skulls themselves are only part of the story. Excavations led by Julio Tello in the 1920s revealed entire cemeteries, packed with evidence of a society that valued distinction and display. The most striking burials were not just isolated finds, they were clustered in tombs, sometimes dozens together, each accompanied by textiles of extraordinary complexity, ceramic vessels painted with coastal motifs, and in rare cases, gold beads or ornaments. These grave goods point to a pattern. Cranial elongation was tied closely to status, reserved for those with power, wealth, or sacred roles in their community. Maps of the Paracas and Ica burial sites show a network of elite tombs stretching from the arid coastal plains toward the Andean foothills. The textiles, some of the oldest and most intricate, in the Americas, suggest a society with far-reaching trade and specialized artisans. The ceramics, too, show motifs not found elsewhere, hinting at a unique cultural identity shaped by both environment and tradition. What sets these skulls apart from ordinary burials is not only their shape, but the context in which they were found. The deliberate arrangement of bodies, the layering of fine fabrics, and the placement of ceremonial objects all signal a careful choreography of death and remembrance. For the Parakas elite, identity was written not just in life, but in the bones and artifacts left behind. The question that remains is how, sir, and why, mem. These skulls came to be so dramatically transformed, and what that transformation meant to the people who lived and died along Peru's ancient coast. Three explanations have competed for decades to account for the dramatic shape of Peru's elongated skulls. The most widely accepted comes from anthropology. Deliberate cranial binding. In this practice, parents would wrap an infant's head with tight bands or cradle boards, gradually shaping the soft skull over months or years. This process well documented across ancient South America and beyond, produced the long, sloping vaults and flattened foreheads seen in elite Paracas burials. Tools for binding, plaited bands, wooden splints and woven pads have been recovered from burial sites, providing physical evidence of the technique. A second explanation emerges from the world of medicine. Medical anomaly. Some researchers point to rare genetic conditions, especially craniosynostosis. In this disorder, Ramon, one or more of the skull's growth plates or sutures fuse too early in childhood, leading to abnormal cranial shapes. CT scans from other archaeological sites show the telltale signs, missing or fused sutures, uneven bone thickness, and sometimes a single parietal plate instead of the usual paired bones. While these cases are rare, their existence means that not every elongated skull can be assumed to result from cultural practices alone. 
The third and most sensational theory comes from outside academic circles. Sensational claims. Online forums, documentaries and viral videos have circulated claims that the skulls are evidence of non-human ancestry. Aliens, lost races or unknown species. Proponents point to features like absent sagittal sutures, unusual foramen magnum placement or cranial volumes said to exceed normal human limits. These claims, often based on selective images or misinterpreted data, have fueled a global fascination and controversy, especially after leaked CT scans made their way onto the internet in recent years. With these three camps, cultural modification, medical anomaly and the fringe, each offering different evidence and interpretations, the question demands a rigorous, unbiased investigation. Only a comprehensive scientific approach capable of weighing physical, genetic and contextual clues can move the debate from speculation to resolution. The investigation began with the most complete dataset ever assembled on Peru's elongated skulls. 32 skulls from the Paracas region were scanned using high-resolution computed tomography, each scan capturing the bone structure in slices as thin as half a millimeter. This precision allowed researchers to trace even the faintest suture lines and subtle changes in bone density, features essential for distinguishing between the effects of binding and those caused by genetics or disease. Each skull was catalogued with a unique identifier, linking the scans to their burial context, estimated age, and associated artifacts. To provide context, the team built a comparative library of 1,200 skull scans drawn from both ancient and modern populations across the Americas, Europe, and Asia. These reference scans included known cases of intentional cranial modification, documented craniosynostosis, and typical skulls from the same period. The breadth of this library gave the AI system a robust baseline for recognizing patterns unique to cultural binding versus rare congenital anomalies. Ancient DNA analysis was attempted on 18 specimens, and six yielded usable, usable genetic sequences. These samples focused on the petrous bone and on teeth, chosen for their higher likelihood of preserving DNA in the arid coastal environment. Every computed tomography scan and DNA extract was logged under strict chain of custody protocols, ensuring data integrity from field to lab. The result was an unprecedented, multi-layered dataset, bone, context, genetics, ready for the most rigorous digital analysis yet attempted on the Paracas mystery. The AI began its work by translating ancient skulls into numbers, mapping every curve, ridge, and hollow with geometric precision. Using morphometric analysis, it compared three-dimensional coordinates from the Paracas skulls to thousands of others searching for patterns invisible to the naked eye. Each landmark on the bone became a data point, feeding into a model trained to recognize the subtle differences between heads shaped by hand and those altered by rare genetic shifts. The machine's next task was ancestry. DNA sequences, some barely clinging to the petrous bone, were run through a Bayesian framework. This approach weighed the likelihood of each genetic marker appearing in local Andean populations versus distant groups, building a statistical portrait of heritage. The AI did not just look for obvious traits, it calculated probabilities, flagged outliers, and cross-checked every result against the known reference library. Throughout the process, every step followed FAIR principles, making data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. No scan could be altered or lost without a trace. The system logged every action, linking digital records to physical artifacts and burial context. 
In the end, what emerged was not just a list of measurements or a string of gene codes, but a layered map of identity, one that would soon confront the oldest legends and the boldest claims about Peru's elongated skulls. At 3.13 in the morning, the lab clock glowed over a tangle of cables and empty coffee cups. Dr. Elena Quispe hovered behind Marcus Liu as lines of code scrolled across the monitor. Months of setbacks and late-night doubts pressed on both of them. Marcos, eyes red from hours at the screen, made a final adjustment, a bug fix on the classifier's suture detection. The AI's output flashed green, then steadied. Elena's breath caught. Marcos let out a shout, startling the night guard down the hall. In that instant, the risk they had both taken, careers, reputations, the trust of an entire field became a shared victory. They hugged, half laughing, half crying, as the result held steady on the screen. Breakthrough. The AI verdict landed with numbers that cut through years of speculation. 82% confidence for deliberate binding, 68% for genetic amplification, and just 9% for rare pathology the Ministry released a cautious statement, supporting the binding explanation, but warning against over-reliance on algorithms. Community leaders voiced mixed reactions. Some welcomed the clarity, others questioned what it meant for ancestral dignity. Variant X, with a frequency of 0.06, became a lightning rod for debate. The 2019 online leak still fueled outsider theories while the 2021 compromise kept all scans within Peru. Auditors confirmed the process, but controversy lingered. AI now reads the silent stories of ancient skulls faster than any human ever could. As algorithms rewrite our understanding of the past, each discovery tests what we call truth. The real mystery, how much of history will we let machines redefine for us?